Oh, me hearties, dinky doo. Tis just me, Scotty McClue, popping up to say hi to every single one of you. Nine o'clock, nothing gets past me, of course, and uh, Radio has just joined us and says hello. Hello, Radio. Dinky doo, good to have you with us. And Scottie has joined us as well. Excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We did, of course, do a little pop-up earlier for Mothering Sunday for a shout-out to all the mothers watching and uh, all the young people wanting to shout-out to their mothers. So there you are. Excellent idea. So job done there. Jobs are good. One. And uh, now it's great to be back with all of you. If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome. Scotty McClear is the name. And we are, of course, live on TikTok, the world's great streaming platform TikTok. this is the big one this is the one that everyone's talking about this is the one that everyone's watching follow me as soon as you come on please fantastic stuff what did you enjoy the most about being on the radio i'm coming from a radio role myself i enjoyed the fact that we could communicate with millions of people and uh, they could communicate with me and we could exchange ideas and have a, a good robust conversation so that was the thing so there we are fantastic i'm very much a talk radio man how much for your hat uh, two and sixpence there we go hello scotty thank you more likes can attract viewers so lots of likes from you please yes i agree with you on that i think wills that's what it was all about fantastic stuff and i do love fm radio and medium wave radio mf hi scotty love the hat thank you do evie Thank you very much for that. It's one of my favorites, as you know. Hope you're having a really good day. Evie, I'm having a fantastic day, and it just got better, not just for me, but for the whole world, because we're TikToking live. And if you're able to get on TikTok, you're able to see Scotty McClue. Hello, mate. Hello. Liverpool. Dig it. Hey, love the bones of you. Thoughts on all these things? Yes, lots of thoughts, Finlay. Absolutely, dinky do. Good evening, says Xbox, Xbox. Good evening. Well done for finding us and coming and joining us. How tremendous is that? And uh, a very, very warm welcome to you. Now, is this a good time for popping up? Do tell. Can you say hi to my friends, Kieran, and to Xander? Of course I can. Hello, Scotty, my man. How are you feeling, says Game? We're fantastic gamer. This is tremendous. Evening. Evening, I mean. Absolutely. Of course, TikTok. Hello, sir. Hello. Dinky do. Hi, Scotty. Says Susan. Dinky do, Susan. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome. Scotty, it's Darren in Nottingham. How are you? Fine, Darren, and we love Nottingham. Outside my house, it said Nottingham 55. Or was it 44? I'm trying to remember. Have you been to Glasgow? I have, Stuart. Yes, I've been to Glasgow. What's your thoughts on today's social issues? All about men and that sort of stuff. Well, you can't ever generalize. So I would certainly not go on that one. There you are. Can you give my sister Emma a shout out? I can. Evening, Scotty. Thank you, do. Hope you're safe and well. I am, Shefflin. Fantastic. Your hat is superb. I thank you, Jung. Very, very kind of you. Very much appreciated. There we go. Mark's joined us. Scully's joined us. And Sam has joined us. How good is that? If you're coming on, guys, please remember to follow me. Step one, follow me. Because... I'll tell you for why this is becoming very, 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 very big. It's becoming even bigger than me. And uh, what we need to do is build it properly. So tap, tap, tapity tap on your screens and follow me at Scotty McClure. Can you see that there? So if you follow at Scotty McClure, when you're coming on, that would just be tremendous. Uh, good evening, hope you're well, dinky Do you lovely to have you with us from Liverpool. We like Liverpool, you see. Fantastic. I used to broadcast there all the time. 
Everybody knew Scotty McLean. <laughs> he's only got one opinion. That's his own. He used to shout at me. How fantastic is that? <laughs> welcome, 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 guys. If you've just joined us, please follow me. Scousers are bad. Says Jung. No, Jung. Scousers are wonderful. Big up Middlesbrough. Everybody bigs up Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough, yeah. Hello, Scotty. Can I have a shout out for my good friend Blair, who turned 30 today? Good lad. Joseph, of course you can. Hello to Blair and happy birthday. Happy 30th birthday. So there we go. Uh, can you shout out to Kieran? Yes, I can. Excellent. Hello from Air, says Christopher. Hello to Air. We love Air, Christopher. Fantastic stuff. That's what it's all about. So there we go. Hi, is your name Kitty? No, no, no. My name's Scotty Alf. So there we are. Mon the Pool. Man the pool, <laughs> absolutely. Well, the Scousers can stand together at the football, so Glasgow could learn a lot from them. There's somebody giving it mon the hoops there. E by gum lad, I'll tell thee, Glenn. E Glenn, <laughs> that's the stuff. Uh, can I have a shout out for my sister? Says Office King Lugie. Of course you can, yes. Have you ever been to the west of Scotland? Says Niall. Uh, yes, I have now, yes. I have been to the west of Scotland. So there you are. Yuvra says. A council estate. Oh, right. Good for you. Can I get a shout out for Neil from the Isle of Barra? Of course you can. And for MacNeil on the Isle of Barra as well for Kishmul's Castle. Hey, from Australia. Davan, dinky do, good day. Lovely to have you with us, Cobber, and fair dinkum to you, I say. Hello, Scotty. What was for dinner tonight? Ooh, D10. Chicken and rice, a nice simple dish, very delicious. Hello from Northern Ireland, says Leah. Leah, lovely to have you with us from Northern Ireland. How you getting on there? So there you are, happy to be here, says Gavan. We are happy to have you here because Gavan, this TikTok is the biggest thing since the Yorkshire pudding. I can tell you, fantastic. There we go. What did you do today? Busy, busy day today, Johnny boy, Johnny. I was tidying up my library. But the danger with that is I have to be very hard on myself. And what I have to say is do not start reading the books. But um, sometimes I fall down on that. So there you are. Come on, you reds. <laughs> Yuvra, you know we don't do football on here. Lovely to have you this disco, Pete. You very, 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 very generous person. So there we are. Hey, Disco Pete, you'll find out you, you featured in one of Scotty's videos the other day. So there you are. TPX, dinky do. Uh, no, I don't. Fantastic. Scotty can have a shout out for my good friend, Robert McIntyre, who's playing golf in the USA. Yes, you can indeed. There we are, playing golf in the USA there. How fantastic. Is he at the Open? Is he at the Masters? All that stuff going on. Fantastic. Liam's just joined us. Dinky do, Liam. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you to everybody who took part in Two Truths and a Lie. Did you get it right? So there we are. Scotty, mate, a shout out. Oh, yes, absolutely. Of course you can. Thunder Firefly has just joined us. A very warm welcome to TikTok's Top Talk. Um, I remember you in the 90s on Hallam FM. Uh, Faroa, yes. Was that not just an incredible radio station? Fantastic. What's your favourite sport, Scotty? Well, uh, rowing was what I did a lot of, and rugby. There we are. Have you ever listened to no TikTok? I don't think I have. Australia is opening up soon because of COVID-19. It's just about gone. Well done, you Aussies. Tremendous people. The people of Oz. The wizards of Oz. Well done, guys. Excellent. Hello, Scotty, says Weemo. Hello, Weemo. Hey, big lad, says Ryan. I remember you from the Austin Powers movies. You've lost a lot of weight. Oh, 
just fell off me. So there we are. A shout out to Bill. Absolutely, Josh. Yes, indeed. Everybody follow me, please, guys. Very important that you follow me, right? There's lots and lots happening, and I have to tell you all about it. Also, thank you to those who have subscribed to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. 1,200 videos, just put that in. Why are Scots such lovely, friendly people? Because Thunderfire, they can go anywhere in the world. There we are. Thanks for following, guys. Appreciate it. And apparently, if you tap, 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 tap your screen, it shoves it up the lives a bit. So can everybody give it tap, 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 tap. See what happens there. Hello from Edinburgh, says Gags. Hello, Gags. Hi, from London, says Nana. Nana, lovely to have you with us from London. We love London. Although poor old London, tough time last night with, uh, with all that, uh, you know, what a shame. What a dreadful shame. But anyway, we can't concentrate on all the negatives on here because we're a very positive stream. Very important. People are having a tough enough time without us going on about it here. So it's positive time. So if you're joining here, positive, positive, positive. I went to Hadrian's Wall today. Well, there you go. Wow. Did you whack the wall? Did you see Hadrian? Did you say, is the Emperor Hadrian? Does he stay about here like that stuff? Is he looking at us? <laughs> a shout out to the love of my life, Joe says Susie. Yes, we can, Susie. Uh, yes, I know. I hope the victim rests in peace. Absolutely, Nana. Bless you. Thank you for the shout out for Robert. Any chance you can wish him good luck for his next tournament? Of course, Joseph. We wish Robert all the very best in America for his next golf tournament. Which three places in Scotland would you suggest visiting? Oh, there's so many. It's very, very difficult to actually suggest where the best place to visit in Scotland would. I think I would definitely give Glasgow a go. I'd give Edinburgh a go. Yes, no doubt about that. Go and see Stirling Castle because you can travel there, you see. The borders are beautiful. The West Coast. Good evening, my friend. How was your weekend? David McKen. My weekend has been outstanding. Last night, Thousands and thousands of you watched Scotty McClue's TikTok. So what can I say except thank you and bless you? I'm here for the positive vibes. Nana, you'll get lots and lots of them. We are very big on positivity. So there we go. What did you think of the North London Derby? It's an excellent railway line, yes. And uh, you're, you're in Derby in no time. So there we are, Dumfries and Galloway. Yes, nothing wrong with that. Gavan says, my mate said, hi from Earth. <laughs> hey, Scotty, says Angie. Hi, Angie. Think you do. Lovely to have you back with us. We are back with you, I say. Big style. My dad was on the radio with you back in the 90s. He still has it on tape recorded. What a laugh. We love it, gags. Yes, how fantastic was that? Scotland's finest radio hour. No doubt about it. You're ditching the beard in the summer, Scotty. Johnny boy, Johnny, I don't know because I kept it last summer and it was surprisingly cool. It was fine. Not a problem. We'll see. There we are. I don't know that I want to lose it now. It's rather become a bit of a chum because you can spend time with the scissors giving it wee trims. <laughs> All that stuff. <laughs> My friend moved to Edinburgh and said it's so beautiful. It is, Nana. The Athens of the North. But Glasgow is a wonderful, big, warm, welcoming city. So there we are. What was the outcome of Two Truths and a Lie? Well, crab fishing, uh, what I can tell you, even Scotty, did you watch the rugby today? I've got it saved, Anthony. I was too tied up today with stuff, uh, but I've got it saved, so we will be watching it. Two Truths and a Lie. The first one was, I owned a shopping centre outright. No board, no other directors, just Scotty McClue, owning a shopping centre outright. Number two, 
I conducted one of the world's finest orchestras in the Manchester Arena in front of 20 million people. Number three, on an aircraft, the pilot had to re-trim the aircraft because of Scotty McClue's 18 stone of solid muscle. There we are. Which is the truth? Which is the lie? Or the, the non-truth? Could I have a shout out for my beautiful wife, Elizabeth? You certainly can, Wheezy. Elizabeth Dinky Doo. There we are from your wonderful man, Wheezy. Uh, Bonnie Scotland is the most beautiful place on earth. Susie, I have to agree with you. I cannot argue with that. Uh, yes, uh, Susie, camping is an amazing place in Scotland. Glencoe, you name it. Ooh, Glencoe, very lonely Glencoe. Uh, there, of course, the Battle of Glencoe. Uh, did you, uh, the Glencoe Massacre, I should say. Did you make the dinner tonight for Mothering Sunday? Well, Johnny boy, Johnny, we had the uh, chicken and the rice. So not too much cooking involved there, I have to say. Dinky do, says Scott. Hello, Scott. Welcome to Scotty McClue's live stream on TikTok. This is the big one. Joseph's just joined us. Jean has just joined us. How fantastic is that? And guys, as soon as you come on, can you follow me, please? Very, very, very important. Follow me at Scotty McClue. And lots and lots of likes, please, as well as follows. Dinky do, I say. <coughs> Angie, thank you. Thank you to everybody who's sharing the video right now. Can you repeat the game? Right, Willie, are you ready? Three things that have happened. Get this into your, uh, open up your lug holes. And I shall tell you, are we ready? Number one, this is uh, two truths and a lie. So you have three things, right? So we got here. Um, thank you for following us, Willie. I love camping. I'd rather get a weekend away camping than a week in Spain, says Susie, and sends five kisses. How good is that? What's your? Who's your favorite film star? Wow, that's very very tricky. Who's my favorite film star? Are you talking today? Or are you talking ever since movies began? So there we are. Thanks for sharing every day. Really, really, really appreciate that. So there you go. Now then, are we ready? Two truths and a lie. So three things. Two are true. One is not. Number one. Are we ready? Number one. I used to own a shopping center. On my own, no board, no directors, just me. I owned a shopping center, right? And a big one. Two, I conducted one of the world's greatest orchestras in front of 20,000 people at the Manchester Arena. Three, I was flying in an aircraft and the pilot had to re-trim the aircraft because it had Scotty McClue in it at 18 stone of solid muscle. There we are. James Cadney says, Skin Bob, fantastic. Yes, Susie. Uh, don't blame you, it's heaven uh, in the summer. We miss you on the radio, Scotty. Gags, I miss all of you on the radio. But I suspect TikTok could be as big as the radio station, if we all uh, if we all join in and support it. So there you go. Thanks for following us, guys. Number two is true, says Scott Fraser. How do you know that, Scott? So there we are. Uh, please go live on Instagram. I did last week. Yes, it's uh, it's not as big as TikTok. I could tell you uh, when I went on but maybe we could build the two together. So there we are. So the Scotty McClure one wasn't as big as TikTok, but I used to go live on Facebook a lot, but there's so much media that it waters it all down, you see? So there we are. Number three is false. 
So there's Thunder Firefly. So number three was that the pilot of the aircraft had to retrim it because Scotty McClue was on board. There we are with my 18 stone of solid muscle. One is true and two is a lie. And what about three? Number one is true, says Dom. So there we go. One true, two a lie, three true, says Willie. Because uh, it's the most plausible Ah, right. Are you saying I'm plausible? What book are you reading at the moment? Well, Johnny Boy Johnny, I actually am reading about the union of Scotland and England in 1707. But that's not the only book I'm reading. I read several books at a time, but obviously not all together. And sometimes I use other books for cross-referencing. Yes, to check out the personnel that sort of thing. So all my leisure reading is actually studying. Like all my holidays all my life have actually been educational trips. <laughs> yes, I love camping with the kids. You can't be a wee campfire and a fishing weekend, says Susie. Shout out for Mr. Jones. Hi, Scotty, says the spaceman. Hi, spaceman. Lovely to have you with us. Are you for independence, Scotty? Well, I think Scotland could go very, very well independently. Do you know, I think uh, definitely. AM, you need to grow up. When was the last time you were in the Glasgow Art Galleries? Oh, it might be two years since I've been there, maybe even three. That's why you're a walking encyclopedia, says Johnny Boy Johnny. Well, I think you have to be Johnny Boy Johnny because you're doing others a service if you can provide them with information and education and entertainment, of course. Yes, Susie, yes, absolutely. Uh, well, it got bumped down two years ago, says Skin Bob. What did? So there we go. What got bumped down two years ago? Skin Bob, what are you talking about? What nonsense are you talking about? You said art art galleries. There we are. I think Susie's talking about the art school. There we are. That's a slightly different thing, Glasgow School of Art. The Mac. Yes, there we are. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes, I think I think that's what it'll be. Yes, she's talking about the Macintosh School. The art galleries. The art gallery in Glasgow. No, Susie. You're talking nonsense, absolute nonsense. The art gallery is absolutely fine. So there we are. I think you're talking about Glasgow School of Art. Yes, the School of Art. Ah, the, the Macintosh, the Charles Rennie Macintosh building. That's it. Now we've got it. Who says DTN? Charles Rennie Macintosh, one of the greatest architects ever. So there we are. Hello. Hope you're well, says Ben. Dinky you know Ben. Who's your favourite author? Oh, I have so many favourite authors. So many favourite authors. Depends what you're talking about. Depends what for. So there you are. If you're talking about history or if you're talking about fiction, you're talking about adventure. And here is Scotty. What did you think about the atrocities that Ian Brady and Myra Hinder committed. Well, what can one think, Deeks? I mean, I've had phone-ins in the area and talked to people who, uh, you know, were involved in all that, the parents of the victims and people that were in jail with uh, with Hindley and Brady, a dreadful, dreadful thing. Whose horse is that? Which horse? My kingdom for a horse. Which horse are we talking about? Any news on the new radio shows at Johnny Boy Johnny? Not yet, uh, guys, I have to say. But I will keep you posted. And as soon as we know, I shall let you know. What's the most important thing in your life? You guys. Yes, you guys. Very, very important. So there we are. And um, I think uh, the most important thing in my life, education. I think, if I was honest about it, that's the most important thing in my life. Everything else is trimmings. So what team do you support? Oh, Susie, I have so many teams I support. You know, we love the Glasgow Rangers. We love the Glasgow Celtic. You know, we love Hibs and Hearts. So there you go. Fantastic. Yes, crab fishing, I do. Well, sir, just watched White House Farm on Netflix. 
Uh, and I was less speechless at the crimes. Ah, yes, absolutely. Good answer, Scotty. There we are. I think it's time we brought back the death penalty. Yes, well, do you really actually? Because it took till 1965... I think to get to, to get rid of it. There's Neil Dinky Doo. Hey, lad. Hey, Neil. Do you do Twitter, Scotty? I do, Johnny boy. Johnny, I would go and have a look at my Twitter. 4,000 people have already joined me, and it's at Scotty McClue. The Twitter is the same as that, guys. At Scotty McClue. Okay. So get yourselves on there. Fantastic. No death penalty for me, Scotty. Not very human of us. No, Detan, absolutely. And I worked down in Lancashire when Albert Pierpoint, the last hangman, was still living. He just passed away about the same time. He had a pub in uh, Southport, if I remember rightly. There you are, Albert Pierpoint. Uh, but he was a, a first-class hangman, uh, and he did the executioning for the baddies. So there we go. Uh, thanks for following us, guys. Very, very much appreciated. Can everybody tap the phones and let everybody know what's happening? Scotty, where were you when the U.S. landed on the moon? Well, I, I was with them, you see, because the first words were, wow, no way could a cow jump over that. So there we go. Uh, what are we doing with these guys? Wait a minute. Here's a couple of... Uh, Couple of dafties. <laughs> Where are the dafties? Get shot of the dafties. There we are. Get shot of the dafties. Get shot of the dafties. Right, lovely. Right, they've gone. Okay. Uh, Education is so important. I keep telling my boys every day. Well, you're quite right, Susie. Very much so. So there we go. Uh, have you done any radio or acting out with the UK? Uh, no, just what people used to listen on the internet. So we are international from that point of view. What do you think of the rugby game? I've still got to watch it, Taylor. There we are. Uh, kids back to school tomorrow, says Skin Bob. Yes, some of them. Not everybody. So there we are. Uh, Dinky do, Mr. McClure, says Ed. Hello, Ed. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome. If you just joined us, guys, you're watching Scotty McClure, the one stop broadcaster, the first lot of the internet. And we are streaming live. Uh, I think it's time we re establish the Soviet Union. Workers of the world unite. So there you are. What were you thinking about that, Deeks? What would be the advantages before we shell out in that? We've just had Brexit, which we didn't need, at a cost of £200 billion and nothing to show for it. What's the furthest country you've travelled to? Crab fishing. Um, I would say probably Austria or uh, Crete. I've travelled to uh, Greece, to Crete. So there we go. Now, here we go. There's D10. And uh, welcome. We need a proper socialist state to fight the disgusting capitalist West. Right, Dick? So, you uh, are a socialist. Let's have the advantages of it. That would be good. Hi from Cyprus. Dinky do from Cyprus. It's how lovely to have you with us. Miss my message again. Uh, have you ever been to the blockade market? Yes, Susie. To the fruit market. Ooh. And of course, I opened the Forge Market 25 years ago. I went to Bulgaria in 2019. What an eye-opener. I think any international travel is an eye-opener. It's going to be a long time before people are traveling. Have you traveled outside of Europe? Um, no. Plenty of advantages, Scotty, such as nationalizing most of the country. So what would you nationalize, Deeks? Give us a wee advantage here. What were you doing when JFK got shot walking home from school? I remember getting into the house and hearing about it, and I remember watching his funeral on television by, was it, Telstar was the satellite. I can't remember, but uh, we had satellite um, was sending us black and white, very, very, very snowy pictures. But we thought it was absolutely wonderful that we could see the president's funeral. The poor soul was only 46. 
So there we are. I would nationalize the trains. Okay, Deeks, well, you don't need to be a socialist to do that. You know, I mean, uh, you could uh, you could get uh, any party could do that if they all agreed. Uh, I think that would be good, yes. You would have an integrated transport system, as we did. We've already nationalized them, and then the Tories made a dreadful mess of them in the 1960s. So that's where I've met you. I maybe have sold you your fruit. Ah, Susie, you may well have. There we are. Did you really open the Ford Scotty? Yes, Ed, 25 years ago, Scotty McClure. And the crowds were amazing. There we are, absolutely amazing. So there you are. Scotty, whereabouts were you when Queen Victoria died? Well, Deeks, she died at 6 o'clock on, I think it was, Wednesday the 22nd of January, 1901. Am I correct? I remember it well. So there you are. Six o'clock. There we are. 22nd of January, 1901. Hi, I'm from Russia, but live in New York. Ha, ah, previet, previet, Eba. How lovely to have you with us. It's hard to accept that a man of your calendar has only resided on one continent. Crab fishing, the problem I've had, I've been working since I was 12, and I've just been so busy, I haven't had time for international travel. And I'm going to try and get myself a job that involves international travel when all the COVID stuff comes down. So there we go. What part of Scotland do you recommend for holidays this year? Well, Johnny by Johnny, it depends on the state of lockdown, because you don't really want to be holidaying in Scotland much after the end of October or November. You see, there's so many things to see in Scotland, and the colours, as we call it, when all the leaves change across Perthshire and Argyll. Oh, the colours. Uh, October, November, dinky do. Drake Scotland needs a bridge and a tunnel between Ireland. Well, Skin Bob, who would use it? And how would you stop in the traffic in the middle for a customs check? You see, that would hold it all up. Scotty, big Jimmy McDonald working at Grangemouth Refinery. Dinky do, big Jimmy. Thank you for everything you do at Grangemouth Refinery. Scotty, it's Brian here. You have some memory. Did you like that, Ed? Hi, Scotty. It's uh, Floyd from Australia. Is Paddy's market still going? I think so, Floyd, but probably in a slightly different form to what you remember. Uh, so there we are. Victoria was a shocking racist woman. We should wipe her name from history, in my opinion. No, we shouldn't, Deeks. What you're forgetting, you're not putting stuff in context. So you're raving and banging your desk and all that stuff about stuff you haven't properly looked into. In those days, the royals weren't terribly well educated. Watch Scotty McClure's videos on TikTok. Look at the ones for remembrance. You'll see me wearing my Glengarry. And I actually had dinner one night with a lady whose husband worked with the son of one of Queen Victoria's ladies-in-waiting and was able to pass on what it was like as a lady-in-waiting to Queen Victoria. <coughs> so there you go. So she wasn't racist at all. In fact, she, one of her best friends was the Indian man. So there you are. Look into that. Uh, Scotty was with North Sound in 1901. Ah, the happy squirrel. You're a funny man. Scotty, have you heard of the ghosts of the A75? I want to look. I haven't. How many languages do you speak? Oh, just, uh, just a few, Johnny boy, Johnny. I worked for 18 years outside Scotland, Australia, Germany, USA, Malaysia, and India. Ah, the happy squirrel. Fantastic. A wise, well-traveled man. That's it. Guys can everybody tap, tap, tap at their screens. Part of that shoves it back up the lives. Hello again, Scotty, back in the live once again. Archie, lovely to have you with us and dinky-doo. Are we at the best time for popping up, I say? 
Were you friends with the gentleman from the show One Foot in the Grave? Um, no, we weren't actually friends. I wish we had been because he's a lovely, lovely guy. And I would like to have worked with him. And I would like to have been directed with him because he's an outstanding actor and director. But he's from Greenock, from Dunlop Street. And he used to work in the Gateside Hospital in the lab. There we are, but wonderful man. And um, he's down in London, of course. Uh, I think he stays in Hampstead. And um, outstanding director. You know, wonderful actor as well, of course. They all spoke multiple languages and went to University of Scotland. Come on now, buddy. Uh, no, they didn't, Deeks. That's what you're forgetting. So there we are. There was none of that. In fact, I think up until... Up until... Prince Charles. No, no, I think, sorry, Edward the Seventh. I think he went to Cambridge, but that was part of the problem. Yes, I'm pretty sure he went to Cambridge, but up until that, no royals went to university, Deeks, so you can check that out. And as for speaking multiple languages, um, it just depends on their own background what languages they would speak. They're also about Deity, Scotty, Town to Demolish. Detan, this is where you're just so wrong, along with half the world, right? So you just don't understand what the monarchy is about. Never, ever, ever outdated. Never, ever, ever time to abolish. Yeah, because they are the curators and custodians of the crown. And the crown is our symbol of authority. So never, ever any thoughts on abolition of the monarchy. It's been tried, and it was an abject failure. So there you are. And also Scotland, it's a, it's a royal institution, Scotland. It's a Scottish institution, and uh, we've had a monarchy for 2,347 years. And if you go to Iona, I think there's 48 Scottish kings buried there. So there we are. Are you from the TV show with the lighthouse? No, no, no. Hi, Scotty. Trace truck driver working for Eddie Stobart pounding down the A1 to Newcastle. Brilliant trace track. Have a lovely time, trace track truck. Wonderful. Did you see what I just did there? All are outdated. Look at Real Madrid and uh, Balam Bass. <laughs> Ross, you're talking nonsense. Lewis says, can I have a shout out, please? Of course you can, Lewis. Thank you, Lewis. Scotty McClure, how are you? Karim, thank you for joining us again. Karim, what do you think this is a good time of night to be uh, to be on? There's Ali. Hello, hello. From Bowmore in Isla. Kamara ha u Ali. Hachama, hachamachi. Mabalach more. Maha. Yes, indeed. And Falchi Falchi. Ki da mille Falchi. Don. Tick tock. Agus Scotchach Macluch. Uh, did you see the wee Scottish lassie from Greenock one dancing on ice? Proud to be a Glenokian. Detan. Always proud to be a Glenokian. Absolutely. A great place for royalty. What shampoo do you use? Oh, um, I use a very, very specialist shampoo. The crown is meaningless. Look at the pigs last night. Disgusting scenes. No detail. The crown will never, ever, ever be meaningless. Right? The crown is our symbol of authority. So there we go. Absolutely. There we are. You see, you've got to remember, the royals are apolitical. The crown is apolitical. Separate thing. Everything you're seeing is domestic politics. So there we are. Uh, what do you think of Harry leaving the royal family? Um, if uh, he was anything to do with that interview last week, I'm pretty, pretty shocked at what's gone on there. So the poor old royal family did not deserve that. And uh, I think that should be taken with a massive sack of salt. So there we are. Who's the most famous person on your contact list in your mobile? Johnny boy, Johnny, I would never be so base as to reveal that. So there you are. Now, I love your badge. Millie me, Millie me, fantastic. Can I show you? Here's one I made earlier. Do you like that one? Scott McClure says, Dinky Doo. 
There you are. Can you get that, guys? Fantastic. The crown has kept down the good people of this country for centuries. No, French are the right idea. No, Deep Sea, again, you're so misinformed. So there we are. The crown has allowed the good people of this country to function so well. You're you're mistaking it. You're going, ah, we're ordinary working folk. Ordinary working folk are the people of this country, you know, who all support the crown, apart from misguided ones like yourself. So there we are. I like your hat. Your eyes are so nice, says Go. Go, thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. Are you Santa Claus? I am. Do you have any good riddles that we could ever go out for crab fishing? Did we do my eyes have a cold nose? Have you got that one? Where was the authority last night? Well, the authority are getting a row for, uh, for being in action. So there you are. It's caused a sushi because the authority flew into action and, uh, you know, stamped their authority on the crowd and it turned into a protest when it should have been a vigil for uh, a, a wee lady who died in terribly tragic circumstances. So there we are. I would say if you're having a vigil, then all political people steer well clear. Yes, anybody with uh, an agenda, steer well clear. What would have been the respectful thing to do was um, listened to the instructions and say, because of COVID, we can't have a vigil. So we'll do it all in our houses and record it and put it onto uh, the internet. Thank you, do, my dear friend, Damien. How lovely to have you with us, you top man. Lovely, lovely stuff, a musician. The crown that sits atop the real man. Ross, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, Ross? Yes, that's nothing to do with uh, with our crown. Uh, have you been abroad anywhere? Oh, heavens, yes. Massively. So there we are. Now, uh, hi, Scotty. Paul Walton on board HMS Queen Elizabeth. We support you. Lovely to have you on board HMS Queen Elizabeth. I can remember... RMS, Queen Elizabeth. Now you're talking. Can you say a rhyme or a limerick? I think it would sound really good. A rhyme or a limerick. I think it would sound really good. So there we are. Yes, I could probably come up with something. Yes, I'm sure I could. Uh, so there we are. Uh, do you think Sunday trading hours... Shops close at four is very outdated and should be changed. Thomas, I think maybe we have too much of a nightlife. When I was wee, everything shut at five o'clock in the evening during the week. And only the odd cafe or sweetie shop or something would be open on a Sunday. Everything was closed on a Sunday, and pretty well closed on a Saturday afternoon as well. So there you are. Uh, Ginger says, full of self-importance. Ginger, why are you full of self-importance? Are you a very important person? Scotty, if there wasn't any decency, we'd, be, we'd still be ruled by Stuarts. Deeks, you don't know anything of your history at all, do you? La, you're a soul, right? It was a Stuart who facilitated the union. So a Stuart is actually to blame for the union. What about that? So there you are. Uh, good evening, Scotty McClure, Dinky News, is Xbox player. So why didn't they just do a vigil, though it turned into chaos? Well, you see, the vigil, it's the social distancing and the instructions to the police. I think we need more clarity from politicians. Politicians need to realize that with the freedom comes the responsibility. And so they should have made an announcement on national television. If you go to the common tonight, you will be arrested. That sort of thing, you know what I mean? Uh, that sort of stuff. Uh, do you think Sunday trading hours? Yeah, well, we've done that one, haven't we? Yes, I bought a new broom, Scotty. The instructions say push to start. 
Dinky dear, so ginger, dinky dear, ginger. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Top man. There we go. There we go to you. Hang on a second. Lovely. Right. Now, who else have we got here? Good evening, Scotty McClure, Dinky Dear, says Xbox player. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome, 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 I say. So, um, my mate has a problem. Can he have a shout out? Yes, he can have a shout out, buddy. Uh, what do you think is the best man to come out of Greenock, apart from yourself, James Watt, and the Catman, D Tan? There are so many fabulous people from Greenock who are absolute stars, you know, wonderful, wonderful people, you know, the tremendous singer, Peter Morrison, the singer, very, very famous Scottish singer, Kenneth McKellar from Paisley, you know, all these things. Uh, the house will be up for sale this week. Very nervous, says Kareem. Kareem, don't you worry if it's squeaky time. You will get there. If anyone will get this right, you will. Don't be nervous. I'm referring to the clear bias of the crown. Uh, look at any other. What are we talking about, Ross? You're talking nonsense. I was getting excited then. Where is the rhyme? The rhyme shrill is see a cow on yonder hillock. Go up and ask for some millock. How about that? There we go. Dinky you I love big man Scotty. Uh, I don't know why these mass gatherings are allowed to take place. We're in a lockdown, but I think that's it. Sure. Politicians should have come out and said, we're in lockdown, no gatherings. You see, who organized that? That's what I wonder. Who said, go to the common, everybody? It must have been, you know, social media. So there'll be records of it. Uh, can I get a quick mention? A good pal of many in Glasgow passed away last week. Yes, Ross. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, absolutely. Hi, mate. Uh, coins have an image of royalty as it was the only way to show the people their ruler. Quite right, crab fishing. We need more of that, although now we've got the internet. Uh, please may I have a shout out, says Tim. Of course you can, Tim. So there we go. Last time I checked, Scotty, Paisley isn't Greenock. No deeks, Paisley's Paisley. I'm surprised at you even having to check that. So there we go. You need to smarten up, lad. I started with nothing, and I still have most of it. I need motivation. Lots of motivation from Scotty McClure live on here. Sorry, is this not a Spanish football phone in? Uh, no, no. Sorry, Ross. I beg your pardon. I should have made that clear at the start. But there we are. My fault. There we are. What about Victor Meldrews? He's a proud Grenokian. Thought you'd have given him a mention. We did, Titan. We were talking about him for 10 minutes earlier. Did you miss that? You need to wakey, wakey la. There we are. Thanks for following us, guys. Good night, Scotty. Have a good rest of the week. Speak tomorrow. Kareem, take great care of yourself. Lovely to have you with us. And from Scotty McClure, dinky do. And remember, don't worry. All will be well. We're just doing these pop-ups while we're actually uh, in lockdown. You're an icon. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. But businesses are suffering and mental health. And these people do whatever. So Waffle, you don't need to say sorry. You have nothing to apologize for. These are very, very selfish people. And it certainly didn't help the cause of the poor little murdered girl. You know, it really did not. So there you are. I thought that the rhyme was going to be rude. So Waffle, I would never say anything rude. So there we are. Um, now, who have we got here? Uh, shared the live video. Thanks for that. There's Reese. Hi, pal. Hi, Reese. Good to have you with us. And dinky do. Is this a good time for popping up? Have you all followed me, please? And can you tap, 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 tap on the screen? Very important. What we'll do is we'll have a little break in about 10 minutes and then I'll probably pop back up again and say hi to you all, and we can carry on. What about that? 
Have you been hammering your steps this much? No, I've just been scrubbing them because uh, I think it brings them up nice and bright. So Scotty has a world record, 450,000 phone ins in a week, 460,000 MSN. Thank you for bringing that up. World record, 460,000 calls to a radio station. Do you like Bovril? I love it. So there we are, fantastic. I spread it on my toast. Uh, so the Bovril Scotch pie is legendary. D10, absolutely. Uh, a silent, socially distanced vigil would have been so much more powerful. Shrill waffle, fantastic, absolutely. Spot on, mate, you can't beat it. So there we are. Uh, who have we got? Oh, that's a bit dodgy. J Couples, you never, ever, ever say that to somebody has a different opinion to yourself. Do geese bark? Well, yes, they do in a way cool guy. That's why geese are used as watchdogs, as alarms for, uh, for premises, because they make such a noise. We should be defunding the police. Deeks, what would that do? So you know, fund the criminals, is that what you're wanting to do? <laughs> I don't your your brand of socialism's not quite there yet. Uh you know, I mean, okay, it was Sir Robert Peel, who was a Tory, who brought in the police, the Peelers. Uh, there you are, the Bobbies. That's how they're called the Bobbies. But uh, how else would you say we maintain law and order? Scotty, this is a brilliant uh, it's good to hear you again, Susie and Preston. Susie and Preston, I thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. A brilliant hood. So there you are. We'll call it the hood. All is good in the hood, Susie. Uh, there we are. A wee place Ibrooks does. The famous Bovril pie. Lovely stuff. I've heard of Ibrooks, yes. Is that a shop? Uh, like violence protesting, violence never works. Silence is louder. Shrill, you are so switched on. Absolutely. Uh, can you walk to Cornwall blindfolded? You could do, but I wouldn't recommend it because it might reduce your chances of survival. Uh, so Robert Peel was a disgusting man. Well, he spoke very, very highly of you, Deeks. So I don't know why you've got that. They said his smile was like the silver plate on a coffin. There you are, Bobby Peel. There we go. Uh, who's going to come and save you when you're getting burgled? Superman. So there you are. Good one, good one, Show Waffle. I looked at something when I was away. My house once got broken into, and they forced a beautiful piece of furniture with a screwdriver, and there was nothing in it, and they forced it. And I was looking at it tonight, still all splintered, when some wee absolute, you know, so-and-so has, uh, has used a screwdriver on a piece of antique furniture. What a disgrace. What a disgrace. Uh, do you know what Meghan Markle's favorite? Oh, yes. There we are. Detan, not particularly funny. You need to work on your humor. Deeks, the police are nothing but attack dogs for the elite. Right. So what you're saying is, what you're saying is that it's only the elite that get burgled. It's only the elite that get attacked. You've never seen ordinary people have to phone the police. Is that what you're telling us, Deeks? Yeah, defund you. <laughs> Waffle, you're nothing but a fooligan. Deeks, I'm defunding the police. What's the first number you're going to call if your mother's attacked, says the happy squirrel. He's going to call whatever the number is nowadays, isn't he? 999. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Hey, shout that louder. I keep telling people I'm switched on. They don't listen. No, Shrill, you're very switched on. Very smart lady. Rumor has it you've climbed to the top of the Cornwall in Cornwall one day, Scotty. I knows Cornwall very well. I've been uh, down St. Michael's Mont. Think you do? Yes. <laughs> Good, need my specs. So there you are. Do you need your specs? Uh, the police are amazing dealing with mental health when other services fail. Yeah, I think the police uh, put up with too much abuse. So there you go. People cheek up to them. Uh, sorry, Scotty, for the poor joke. Just been annoyed at Russian dolls. They're so full of themselves. 
Yes, absolutely. It depends. <laughs> they need to just open up more. That's what I feel about Russian dolls. Here you go. I'm going to have to push off in a couple of minutes, guys. But uh, I'll pop up and see you again later. So there we are. That's our hour coming up. How fantastic has this been? What a wonderful, wonderful setup. Now, if you're about later, keep an eye out for me and uh, set all your notifications. We wouldn't need the police really as we teach martial arts, but that fooligan will be offended. Can you play hopscotch in the motorway with the duck? I wouldn't advise it. You've just done a wuzzle gummy jack sent for Cornwall there. Did you meet him? Oh, he meets everybody in Cornwall. I say good afternoon to you. You're nipping away, says DTN, nipping away for a light refreshment. Dinky doo, shout out to Roths. We love you, Scotty. So there we are. Uh, was the inventor of? I'll tell you about that. The majority of police are amazing. I've only ever met one that wasn't good. Deeks runs the stream. Stay in your lane. Who would win, says Cool Guy? This is the big question, Cool Guy, isn't it? Who would win? What were we doing uh, for wondering who would win? There we are. Right. Um, as quickly as you can, get your act together and share this. Follow me big style. And uh, I'll pop up for a little bit more time, just in a bit. Uh, yes, I will with the police on side. There you go. Good one, Shrill. You sort these people out. Thanks for sending me likes, guys. Very, very much appreciated. There we go. What's on the telly at the moment that people might be watching? And uh, I'll pop up afterwards. So do tell. Spill the beans. Uh, good evening, fine sir. Good evening. Good evening. There we are. Thank you for all your likes. Right. I'm just going to push off and I will pop up in a short time and uh, we'll have a bit of chat. Sean says, you take it easy, son. You too, son. You take care of yourself, son. Um, I'm watching the drag race for the umpteenth time. Are you into drag shrill? So there we are. Uh, drag racing. Fantastic. <laughs> right. Uh, I shall push off. Bye. Take great care of yourselves and uh, we'll see you all very shortly. Until then, dinky-doo.